Milen Farmer was born on September 12, 1961, in Cannes, a small town in the south of France. Her father, Max Gotti, was an engineer, and her mother, Isabel Gotti, worked at a bank. Milen had an older sister, Isabel, who later became her manager and close friend. The family moved frequently from city to city as her father worked at several companies. They lived in Switzerland, Germany, and various cities in France, including Nice and Paris. Milen learned to adapt to new situations quickly thanks to this lifestyle. As a child, Milen was very creative. She had various hobbies such as dancing, singing, and playing musical instruments, including guitar and piano. She also learned to dance in a ballet class and took acting lessons. At the age of 11, Milen began writing her own songs and gradually mastered the process of creating music. She started performing in various places with her guitar, singing her songs in French and English. Despite having many hobbies, music was her main priority. She dreamed of becoming a singer and performer of her own songs. In 1984, Mylène moved to Paris to start her career in the music industry. She joined the group Les Enfoirés, which focused on charity work and raised money for the poor, and this became her first step towards fame and recognition. After that, Mylène Farmer started working on her solo material. In 1986, she released her first album, Cendres de Luni, which became incredibly popular and brought her success and Mylen Farmer became one of the most popular singers in France. Mylen Farmer continued to work on her career, releasing new albums and concerts. Her work often stood out for its non-conformity and experimentation with sound and visual design. She also frequently collaborated with other musicians and producers to create new music. In addition to music, Mylen Farmer also pursued an acting career. She appeared in several films, such as Jonathan and Breathless, as well as on television in various shows and series. Milen Farmer became popular in the late 1980s when her first two albums received immense success in France and beyond. Her musical style was characterized by non-conformity and experimentation with sound and visual design, which attracted many fans. At the beginning of her career, Mylène Farmer often faced conflicts with her producer, Laurent Bouton. One of the main reasons for these conflicts was disagreements about how Mylène Farmer's music should sound. Bouton wanted to create music in the style of electronic pop, while Mylène wanted a more original and emotional sound. Conflicts also arose because Bouton was a controlling and dictatorial producer who tried to handle all matters related to Millen Farmer's career independently. So, Melen Farmer decided to break her contract with Laurent Bouton and started working with another producer, Jean-Louis de Bavois. This led to the creation of her first album, Cendres de Lune, which was a huge success. It reached number one on the charts in France and sold over 700,000 copies worldwide. However, Despite breaking ties with Laurent Bouton, he continued to own the rights to Milen Farmer's music. This led to a legal battle in 1999, with Milen Farmer seeking the return of her music rights. The court ignored her requests, but this didn't stop her from continuing to write and perform new songs throughout her career. The second point is related to the mental health issues that Milen Farmer faced during her career. Starting in 1995, she began to suffer from panic attacks, which often led to the cancellation of her concerts and delayed releases of new albums. This condition lasted for several years, and Millen Farmer often had to interrupt her performances when strong emotional and physical symptoms overwhelmed her. These problems led Millen Farmer to avoid publicity and give interviews only in very limited quantities. In 1999, she even decided to take a break from her career for several years to focus on her health and family. At the same time, she began practicing yoga and meditation to cope with her issues. Life for Milen Farmer has been filled with rumors and harassment from fans. In 1999, 
A 39-year-old man named Guy Georges claimed that he was a victim of sexual violence by Mylen Farmer. He said they had been seeing each other for several years and that Mylen had forced him into sexual relations. However, Mylen denied all the allegations and the court found Guy Georges guilty of defamation. In her career, Mylen Farmer faced competition from other famous French singers like Julie Depardieu, Jeanne Moreau, Michel Polnareff, and others. However, Mylène continued to be one of France's most successful singers, thanks to her unique voice, creative concepts, and unparalleled stage presence. Mylène Farmer was also inspired by other famous musicians and artists. She said she was inspired by the works of David Bowie and John Lennon. She was also drawn to more experimental music genres like industrial techno and electronic music. Milan Farmer is known for her private life, but has also been the subject of many intrigues and rumors. Throughout her life, she has had several romantic relationships and marriages. Milan Farmer's first husband, Jean-Louis Moore, was her producer and manager. They got married in 1984 and divorced in 1999. They had two children, a daughter named Chloe and a son named Romain. In 1990, Milen Farmer met her future second husband, Bertrand Contact. He was her dancer and actor, and they dated for several years before getting married in 1991. However, they got divorced in 1999. After her divorce from Contact, Milen Farmer started dating British musician Ben O'Garo. They wrote and recorded several songs together, including California. However, they broke up in 2011. While Malen Farmer kept her personal life private, she became the subject of numerous rumors and speculations. One of the most shocking ones was that she had a daughter whom she kept hidden from the public. These rumors were debunked when Malen Farmer officially confirmed that she did not have a daughter. Due to her secretive personal life and fame, Malen Farmer also became a victim of stalking by fans. In 1991, her jealous fan named Jean-Claude Chalamar attacked her in her hotel room and stabbed her. She was hospitalized but managed to recover and continue her career. This incident inspired her to write the song XXL, which became one of her hits. Milan Farmer became one of the most popular singers in France, and her music became popular throughout Europe and other parts of the world. However, in the late 90s, Milen began experiencing problems in her career. Her subsequent albums did not achieve the same success as her earlier works. Her experiments with music and videos were sometimes unsuccessful, and critics began criticizing her work for its lack of originality and innovation. One of the reasons for Milen Farmer's failures was that she was unable to maintain her uniqueness and compete in the music industry. In addition, she began to get involved in other projects, such as acting in films and theater productions, which also distracted her attention from her music career. In 1999, Milen Farmer released her album In the Moramento, which received negative reviews from critics and sold worse than her previous works. In 2001, she signed a contract with the American label called Universal Music to expand her audience beyond France. However, her first English language album also did not have much success, worsening her problems. In 2005, Mylène Farmer announced her departure from the music industry and began working on films and theatrical productions. She returned to the music scene in 2010 with the album Blue Noir, which received mixed reviews but was more successful than her previous works. However, it was her last album at the time and Mylene Farmer once again left the stage to focus on other projects. Milen Farmer's mistakes that led to her decline included too many experiments in her music and videos, which made her work less cohesive and consistent. She also became involved in other projects, such as movies and theater, which diverted her attention from music. Another reason for her decline was that she was unable to maintain her uniqueness and compete with other performers in the industry. Nevertheless, Milen Farmer still remains one of the most popular singers in France and other countries. 
Her provocative style, extravagant performances, and unique voice have made her a cult figure in the music world. She has sold more than 30 million copies of her albums and received numerous awards for her music and theatrical production. In conclusion, Milan Farmer is an example of how a long and successful career can have its ups and downs. Her mistakes and failures became lessons for her in the future, and she continued to work on her projects while maintaining her legendary status and popularity in the music world.